Welcome back to another episode of The Nails Next Door. My name is Darren. As you guys know, we've been on this, well, I've been on this wave of trying to do some more romantic and nicer things in life for Sherelle. So you guys seen the whole puppy shenanigan that happened a few months back. Wow, it's been about a, about a year now, I guess, possibly. Yeah, it has to be about a year now. Um, no, how, almost a year. Because my wrist surgery was about, about a year ago. Whatever. Um, we did that. We got her a new car. I, I semi film on it. I didn't really film that. Uh, because number one, my battery died. Number two, it was just a whole stressful situation buying the car. We do have to tell you right now, that's her mom luxury vehicle. Um, um, but yeah, that's it. So today, not today, but I just picked up... Um, my latest plan which is we are now married for eight years we always said that a 10-year mark is going to renew our vows when we first got married we were poor she had just graduated from college i had just got laid off but we had did our own wedding and whatnot when i got engaged to her all i did was i got a um like a a ring that you find in the sales circular from k jewelers they send you every Weekend, it was like the one that was like 900 bucks. It's always in there. There's always a solid tear that's a princess cut that's in there. So it's either a princess cut or a round cut. You either get either one or two for like $999.99. It's like maybe half a carrot or something like that. So I got her that. The band was just a regular band with diamonds across the top that I think I got from, oh, it was from Overstock. The band was from Overstock and I think maybe I spent 300 bucks on that. Um, maybe 300 400 bucks so yeah that that was back in the day but you know that was cool for me because it took me maybe a whole month of work of worth of salary to pay for that because I was only making like $13 an hour but you know life changes things happen we didn't even go on a honeymoon because we didn't have too much money. We just bought a house probably about a couple months, about a year before, after we got married. Well, we bought a house, we got married. So we were still kind of just doing things. We were still starting off, so we didn't go on a honeymoon. And then Sherelle was new in her career, so we just didn't really have time to take off anywhere. And then we got, we had London, so we never went on a honeymoon. Um, so that's why when we do do our our vow we knew we we're going to do a uh, destination ring. But I just, I went to K Jewelers, got me a little K Jeweler credit card. This is 12 months, um, interest free. So they're not sponsoring this video, but just in case you was looking. And we got one of these guys here. So we're going up from, I think the half a carat that maybe her first ring was, even if it was that. I think it was a half a carat solitaire. Now this is about, this is two? I don't know if you guys can zoom in, there we go. So, it's two carats. It has that, that halo design, I guess. Um, and it has a little bit of rose gold around it. So it's white gold, and then one of the crown things around it is rose gold. So, she has a thing for rose gold, so figured it was a good choice. Oh, and the band in the middle is a rose gold color. I didn't do a new wedding band, though, because I think she's probably just going to use the one she has now, to be honest with you, because this is kind of a lot bigger ring. Not like it's a big solitaire, but the, the crown on it is pretty large, so I don't, wanna, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I don't want to be too overpowering. Here I get a better look. Let's go to the window. Let's go. Yeah, the kids playing because I'm homeschool dad. So that's what we're looking like. Just so you guys get a better look. Hopefully you guys can see that. So hopefully she likes it. And an Amber Alert's going off on our phone. I haven't yet decided how I'm going to pull this off yet. I think I'm going to use Southern Bell Farm for family pictures as a way to mask this whole thing. I haven't figured that out yet. Logistic wise, I didn't get there. I do things spur the moment and just make it work as we go. We put the pieces together little by little, but hope you guys take this ride with us. Hope she likes it. We'll see how this goes. 
Um, if this is your first time checking us out, hit that subscribe button and join the Nils Next Door. Um, but let's, let's figure this out. All right, so we came out to Southern Bell Farm in McDonough, Georgia. We've been here a couple times, so I think we've come every year for the past like five years. Um, probably do a little pumpkin picking if they have any. Um, let the kids run around for a little while before it starts to rain. Take a couple photos for the fall, and then go about our day. But yeah. bad thing about today is that the weather is terrible. It's about to rain. Well, it started raining earlier. So, I don't know how today's going to turn out. We'll figure this out, though. All right, so that went by fairly smoothly. I don't know if you guys are gonna hear me because of the wind is blowing. This little weather is crazy. So you're not gonna have any audio from what just happened because of the wind, um, but went by pretty good. London was like, um, London was pretty much like, I don't wanna ask anything weird, but does this mean we're gonna have another baby? That's definitely no for me, dog. Um, so everything went smooth too. Um, two years from now, we'll renew our vows somewhere and we'll just kind of keep us. But let's go find this core maze. Let's go get lost. Let's continue this journey, people. London is guiding us. She tried to cheat already by cutting through the bushes or the corn stalks. Stalks? 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 